Hey, this is Fanta, and today what I want to do is I want to show you how to install um, Princess Connect on on DMM Player if you are living outside of Japan. Now, because um, because Princess Connect or some games on DMM um, are blocked, are region locked, they don't let you access it for some weird reason. Um, but there is like a pretty big community of players that you know speak English and also play the game because the game is like a really really good game. As you can see, it's like number one in terms of popularity in like overall and recent. Um, but as you can see, when I click this, like an error pops up. So in order to fix this, we will need a few things. We will need to access the game, um, not using this method. We we need to access it directly from from um, the 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 website their 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 own website and the other thing we need is a VPN that's based in Japan now thankfully um, these things are not too hard to get um, this one is is a free VPN called soft ether and it actually is like super good <laughs> I don't I'm actually surprised by how good this VPN is because like I've used like a lot of paid VPNs before especially when I was in China to like um, to like you know avoid the great firewall but i've used like nord i've used um um like express vpn and this one is just like super good and this is 100 percent free um and basically all you need to do is i'll include the link to this download page you just click this download a zip file and then um just unzip it and it will be on your computer um, and all you need to do is uh, actually let me let me take it one step further. So uh, where do I put it? Okay, I found it. So this is the folder of my VPN gate, and uh, when you first install it, like it'll just have a few random files and like this this .exe file to install the the VPN client. And what you want to do is you just want to um, first copy the the directory over here of where this folder is, and then once you copy the directory, you just open this this exe file, and it will ask you if it wants to if you want to install it, and then you can just go and um, keep going, and then when you specify directory, you just literally paste it in, and then just install it, and then you'll you'll yours will look exactly like mine right here and you can just launch the program and basically start using it so we'll just have that ready because we only need this for one step okay we don't need we don't need a vpn to play the game we only need a vpn to download the game once so in the future you no longer need this you just need it once in order to complete a single step um yeah, so that's that's basically it. We'll just have this ready on the side. And the next thing you want to do is you want to create a DMM account and you want to download the DMM launcher. And this is a guide on Reddit. I'll include a link to this below. It's, it has like all the pictures to all the steps. It's very, very straightforward. You just go to the DMM site, click this button to um, register an account. And then um, after you register an account, you'll like verify your email and all that stuff. And I think you can do it in English as well. You can actually go to DMM and pick the English option. So everything will be in, in English, no problem. Um, the next thing you want to do is you want to download the DMM launcher. And the best place to do that is actually on this game. It's called Identity something. Um, it's a game on DMM. Um, I don't play it, but we're just going to use this button over here on the side to download the DMM game player. So you just click this button on the side and click DMM game player, and then it will start downloading um, the, the DMM um, game player. And, and then, and then um, your DMM game player should be ready. Just log in, use your username and account, and it'll basically take you here and you still aren't able to access the game. So the final step, what we need to do is we need to go to the actual um, Princess Connect um, DMM site. And there's like this, I'll include a link to this below as well. And all you need to do is click this big pink button. 
Now this is the step where you go and you turn on your VPN. Now, this is where you actually need your VPN. So we go over here and we click this um, VPN gate, public VPN um, relay servers. And then you just pick one that's in Japan. You just double click it, click OK, and then it will connect you to the VPN server. All right, so now I'm connected. Like that was just, that was super fast. And then you click this blue button and it will launch your DMM player and it will have like this thing pop up. It will start downloading the game. Or actually it will ask you where you want to install the game. And then it, it will start downloading the game. And then once it's downloaded, then it will automatically launch and um, you can just start playing the game afterwards. And it will actually have like a shortcut of, of um, where the game is. I think it will, it will be created on your desktop. Um, you want to save that shortcut so you, uh, you can access it in the future. But another way is like, you know, every time you, to access it, you could go to the, go through the website to access it. Um, I, I'm not quite sure where the shortcut is exactly. I think, let me see where the directory is. So it'll be saved in the DMM game player directory. It'll be like general. Um, if I copy this directory and go into Fog Explorer, oh, that's super weird. Oh, it actually. Oh, it launches the game and then launches the the file. So I'll actually copy this just in case you lose the shortcut. Um, I probably should save this this thing just in case I lose the shortcut of where it is exactly but it's it's a, actually a URL it's a it's like a one of those URLs that launch like your program automatically um, but actually the shortcut is actually a URL I thought it was like a file somewhere on the computer but it isn't it's actually a URL but anyways I'll also save this as well just in case you lose your shortcut and I'll save it for, for myself as well just in case I lose the shortcut because um, I don't want to have to go through everything all, all that whole entire setup again if you lose your shortcut you have to go through that again but anyways that is pretty much it that is that is it once you have all that um, you'll have this shortcut every time you want to launch the game you can just click the shortcut and it will launch the game you can start playing so that is pretty much it um, I know it sounds like a bit of trouble but I think it's it's a lot better than using an emulator because it runs super 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 smoothly like it runs way way smoothly um, than any mobile game on emulator um, a few weeks ago the game used to work on emulators I don't know why ever since like a recent update it no longer works um, but it's you know this I actually probably would not go back to using an emulator after having gone through this and, and setting it up because the game runs so much more smoothly um, using DMM player. Anyways, that is pretty much it. So I hope to see you in the game. I hope to um, see you in the next video. Take care.